G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, my name's Jim. Today's video is a new arrivals video. Um, you know, in my previous video, you would have seen me do a hunt at um, Westfield Shopping Center and I bought these models in front of you. So today we're just going to have a, a closer look at them and I also received a, a little box of uh, fire vehicles, so that's pretty exciting. So I thought, why not do them all in the same video? So let's get into it. Um, so from a reject shop, I bought these two. Um, you got the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Some really nice uh, tampos and decals. So that's a base. 2012 copyright. I mean, these models aren't new. You've probably seen them all before. But I like the engine detail. Uh, I pick this up just to give it away eventually. Eventually, when I do reach 500 subs. So yeah, there's that one. Also from the Reject Shop. The Reject Shop is like a discount store in Australia. Uh, it used to be really popular back in the day, but uh, now there's not so many stores of them around. Yeah, I picked up this uh, Nissan Maxima drift car. Uh, Hot Wheels are releasing a lot of really cool looking uh, drift cars lately, a lot of uh, station wagons. So yeah, I picked this up to give away. So there are the two I got from the Regic shop. Uh, then I moved on to Kmart where I picked up uh, these three. I've got this old Ford Escort from 1970, RS1600. Copyright, I uh, can't quite make it out. 2014, I think it says. Number four, driving lights, checkered pattern on the roof, no rear light details. So yeah, there's that one. Also from Kmart, I got the black Mercedes-Benz 500E. I've seen this casting in so many of you guys' channels, and I in, in Sydney, Australia, I just never saw them in a peg on the peg. So when I finally saw this one in Kmart, I thought, right, I'm I'm gonna get this one. Uh, not to keep, this will be a, a giveaway for sure. But um, who is it? Diecast Dude. G'day, Diecast Dude, if you're watching. He always seems to come across this casting, no matter where he goes. They're almost like a uh, peg warmer over in uh, in uh, his part of the world, the Netherlands and around that. So, yeah, finally got one of those. That was good. Finally, from Kmart, I got this. Is it 8 crate? I think I called it B crate in the previous video. It's 8 crate. So I liked it because it's got the exposed engine in the um, the um, storage area of the station wagon. No details on the back, a little bit of chrome on the front grille. And it's a 2002 copyright, retooled in 2014 it looks like. Made in Malaysia. So this will be going to someone in the future. So that was my Kmart haul. Then I moved on to Big W where I found these two Volkswagens. There's the... Um, I still don't know how to work out what case it's from going from those uh, numbers. Is it M case? Not sure. I actually it can't be M case because um, Big Keg actually told me these are old castings. So um, if they are old castings, I don't know what they're doing in Big W at a time. 42 of 250. So yeah, let's have a look at the base. Uh, Volkswagen Beetle. 
extremely glary copyright 83 i think it was or 86 or 88 i think it's 88 made in malaysia so yeah i like the uh the wood paneling decals or tampos whatever they are jacked up a bit really uh the mag wheels are really extending beyond the fenders there oh you got front front headlight details part of the uh, base and the bumper bar i guess interior is like a like a um, dull yellowy sort of color maybe tan yeah that's quite nice and also got this volkswagen since 68 hot wheels tire shop el segundo california i guess it is sales service fabrication little um, storage compartment in the back chrome exhaust tip it's a 16 oh it's a 48 is it 48 i'm not sure could be 46 or 45 as well anyway it's a beetle pickup at the front you get the headlight details the bumper bar in the um, tray part it looks like this little jerry can a bit of a boot liner there so yeah, that's pretty cool so that was uh, on special for two dollars most of these cars were two dollars except the two from a reject shop they were two dollars fifty nine each also at Big W I picked up uh, Luke Skywalker's Landspeeder, the X-34. Uh, big fan of uh, Star Wars, I am. So I'm also starting to collect uh, space vehicles, mainly land-based space vehicles. I'm not into uh, spaceships, really. So yeah, I picked this one, 2020 copyright. Looks like it's all plastic, which is okay. This will probably never leave this packaging. I'll probably leave it in. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, so that was the... Oh, there was one more from um, Big W. The Muscle Machine. Uh, as I said in the video, and as people have commented, it does remind of Mad Max's... Uh, interceptor a little bit with the lights on the front or actually just that part if you if you block out the engine that part there looks a bit like the um mad max car the black one so we've got a 1993 ford mustang svt cobra 06 can't see the base um i'm 50 50 on this whether i'll keep it or not highway patrol big exhaust pipes yeah, um, I'm sort of leaning towards keeping it. This one cost me eight bucks. Seen these a lot on um, on Gary's diecast collection and Fex Def's channel. I've uh, seen Fex Def open these, and there's a little like a picture shows a pop up display stand, which is really a really great feature. But I'm not sure if I'll ever open it if I do decide to keep it. What was the packaging? Oh, there's the series. It's a copyright. The uh, licenses. So yeah, that was my big W haul. And finally I went on to Maya where I actually was surprised to see so many majorettes sitting there. And I went through them as you saw in my video and I, I chose this one mainly because of the... Um, Majorette um, decal or tampa, tampa I think. Yeah, mainly mainly because of that. Some really great detail on the rear. The uh, Toyota logo, Toyota high ace badging. Uh, the light details. They even detail the brake light. Not much on the top. On the front, 
more tampos. Um, you can see the Toyota emblem. Headlights have been painted, I think. Or is that a plastic insert? I think it's part of the base and it's a plastic insert. Can't really see in the interior, but there is a black one. Nice detail on the door handles and the sliding door handle as well. Uh, scale is 169 it looks like. It's actually got Germany on the base. Firth, Germany. Okay, does that mean it's made in Germany? Because I thought these were originally French and then um, made in China after that, I'm not sure. G'day to my mate in Cookshaven, Germany, Sparky. I'm sure you'll be able to work this out. Not sure what that top word is, work, workstra. And then there's a number. But yeah, it's a it's a nice little van. As I said in the video, it wasn't on special. I had to pay the full price for it. But it was the only one of this type there, so I thought, yeah, I'll grab that. Alrighty, so that was my um, haul from the hunting video. And now on to what I've been really looking forward to. A little box of um, small fire vehicles which arrived about a week ago um, these are nothing special I, I mainly bought these because they're unusual brands uh, as you'll see there's a brand in here I hadn't heard of before this um, before I saw it online I think it's pronounced Guizval or Guizval I'm not sure But these didn't cost me much. These are part of a bundle. Um, cost me $11.50 to have them sent to me. I can just work out how this box opens. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, and the actual models themselves were, uh, I think, 3 or $4 each. You can see these, um, what do you call them, um, packing... Beans, is it packing beans or packing peas? I used to call them noodles and then um, I found out they were called something else, like um, beans or something. Anyway, let's get them all out. I've bought from this guy in the past and he, as you can see, he does a really great job of um, packaging, really secure, really safe. So I grab all these beans. Um, yeah, look at that. Uh, you got your bubble wrap, and then he usually puts them in boxes or a case as well. So let's um, let's get his tape off. Yeah, I can see three separate little boxes, which is great. And once again, as previously, he's put um, like wrapping paper around the models inside the plastic boxes. Sorry about the delay, but um, it's a little bit harder wearing gloves. So I probably should have taken them off, but. Anyway, I'm just about there. Okay, let's get into it. How are we going for time? 15 minutes, far out. Okay, best way to open it. Um, this way. Just tighten my glove a bit. Okay, suspense is killing me. Uh, 
more sticky tape. You can see a ladder, you can see some red colour. And here it is. Oh, this is the Guzvel I was telling you about. I'll put some information up about Guzvel. I did uh, read up about it, but I've completely forgotten what I read. So <laughs> I'll, I'll put some um, details about this company. But apparently they've been around for a long time. I just never heard of them before. Let's see if we can see how it's spelled. There it is. There. See it? G U I S V A L. All it says is it's a Volvo, it's made in Spain, it's a Spanish company. Guizval or Guizval. I, I prefer Guizval. So yeah, like I said, it's nothing special. It's a pretty basic model. But I just wanted an example from this company. Shame it didn't come earlier. I could have put in my um, uh, Paul Schwock uh, Show Your Brands Challenge. But yeah, it just didn't arrive in time. Is that ladder come out? I don't think so, no. So, and also it's a Volvo truck. I don't know if I have another Volvo truck in my fleet. Definitely not this model if I do. But yeah, it was only, um, it was about three dollars. So, uh, I don't think I'll do any chroming, although the headlights look like I, um, it's beyond my capability to do those headlights, so maybe one day. So that's a little Volvo ladder truck. From the brand Grizval. Yeah, leave me a comment if you know about that brand. Alrighty, let's get into the next one. Just my um, washing machine beeping in the background, telling me that the washing is done. Okay, nice little van here, and looks like it's got an opening door at the back, which I didn't know about, so that's a bonus. So we've got a uh, Ford van, made in China. Oh damn, I forgot what brand it is. It's um, I'll have to look it up and and in, and um, put it up in text on the screen. But yeah, it's a nice little Ford van, 1977 model, apparently. Does that hood open? No. I saw a line around the Ford, maybe it opens, but nope. It's got an interior, a few seats, fire engine service, pretty basic wheels. Nice little red um, beacon light on top. Uh, rear vision mirror molded into the windscreen. The sliding door does not slide. But the bonus is an opening rear hatch, which opens and you push in. And inside, I haven't got my torch today, we can zoom in a bit. Pretty basic, but um, it's a nice feature, that opening door. Just pull it out and close it. So I'm happy with that. No need to chrome the headlights, already done. I got a feeling it was, um, I think it was Motormax, maybe. But anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll put a text up what brand it is. This was only about, I think it was three or four dollars. Mint condition, I can't see any um, faults with it. But yeah, nice little uh, addition to my fleet. So that was that one, and finally on to number three. It's another nice little van. This one looks even better, actually. What brand was this? It's the Racing Champions. Yeah, Racing Champions. It's a 70... 70, 
76 or 75, 75 Chevy van, nice little treaded tyres, still plastic though, but that's okay. Hazardous materials unit, that's really sweet. Bit of chroming, bit of indicator detail, a Chevy logo on the grill. Uh, nothing opening and closing. Detail on the door handles. The interior is pretty good too. Nothing wrong with that. Nice light bar and siren. It's really well done. Ah, oh, and it has a opening rear. So in the pictures on eBay, the, the guy didn't um, show uh, pictures of the doors open. Which I hope they do open now that I've said all that. Okay, I'll just uh, pause you guys for a sec and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back guys. <laughs> I just had to get something sharp to open that rear, rear doors. But here we go, look at that. I did not know as I was saying that these open. And look at the interior, it's pretty good. Looks like a couple of seats facing back. You can see the wheel arches in there and the panels. Yeah, um, what was I saying? The, the pictures on eBay, it didn't have the doors open, so I'd, I just assumed it was a non-moving uh, part uh, model, like, uh, like this one. But both doors open on both models, which is great. Really happy with that. Let's see if they close okay. Yeah, really nice. Bit of a gap around that door. Maybe I should have closed the other door first. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. That is a bonus. Nice uh, rims and wheels, realistic. That logo there, just pretty uh, generic. Not sure what it says, but probably just fire department. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this one, Racing Champions. I've got a few Racing Champions um, models, and uh, they do a pretty good job, actually. So, already, guys, I'll try and keep this below 25 minutes. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for putting up with my um, rambling on. Sometimes I just get carried away and I lose track of all time. So, hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for joining me. See you in the next episode of Red Trucks. Bye for now.